Hi there, in this video, we will look at creating a Postman collection using Postman. So we'll be testing an API endpoint, which actually returns us a number of objects, which has things like iPhones and other gadgets. It's a free API that we are using. So in order to do that, we first launch Postman and we create a new collection. Let's name this collection. So let's go here and rename it and name it as Postman REST API collection. Now in this collection, we need to add requests. So we'll go ahead and add a request and we'll change the name of the request to get all objects from the endpoint. So let us create this and rename it. So that's our request name and let us provide the URL over here. So if you see, this is uh, the endpoint uh, base URL and this is the actual endpoint. So when I send it, you can see that these are the values that it has returned. So there are some objects, you have Google Pixel, Samsung Galaxy, AirPods, so on and so forth. So let's go ahead and also try to add a test to it, which basically will validate if our endpoints or if our requests are working fine or not. So what we'll do over here is we will create a simple test. Uh, it's written in JavaScript. So we are creating two tests here. First one is to check if the status code is 200 and the second one is to check if the count is 13 or not. So to do this, all you have to do is you again click send. It will execute the request and it will execute the test. So if you move to the test tab, it shows both the tests have passed, the status code is 200 and the atom count is 13. So similarly, we can go ahead and add these tests for all the other requests that we have as well. This way we have created the entire Postman collection over here. So let us close all the tabs. And to run a collection, what you have to do is just select run collection. We have the iterations, we have all the tests and the endpoints and the requests. You just click on run collection. It will execute all the requests that we have. It will execute them. It will execute all the tests that are associated and then it will give us an output in terms of which tests have passed and which have failed. What we'll do now is we will export this Postman collection that we will use with test cube. So what you have to do is you have to click on this three dots and click on export. It will ask you uh, which version to use. We'll use the recommended one, which is version 2.1 and we click on export. It will ask where to save it. You can choose wherever you want it to save and the collection will be exported successfully. Now let us look at how to use this collection to create a test cube workflow using the dashboard. To do that, log into your test cube account and navigate to the test workflow section. Over there, you will find the add a new test workflow button. Click on it. In the new dialog, it shows you there are different ways to create a test workflow. You can create it using a wizard. You can start from an existing example or you can import it from an existing YAML file. We would be using a wizard to create it. So we would be creating it from scratch. Before that, let us look at the Postman collection that we would be using. So this is our test cube examples repo. And you have to navigate to the Postman workflow folder where we have the Postman collection that we are using to create the test workflow. So let us copy the URL over here for now. And let us go back to the dashboard and let's start creating it from the wizard. We provide a name for the workflow. So we'll give it. So we have test workflow postman and then I choose postman. We provide a version. We will use the default six Alpine version and the command would be newman run for now, but we would be passing the actual postman collection, which we will see in the next step. Click on next and then it asks you the source from where we would be fetching the collection. So in this case, we are using the git repo. So we choose git. We provide the git repo URL and then we provide the branch and then we have to provide the path. Now in this case, the, our postman workflow is inside the folder called postman workflow. So that becomes our path. So let us copy that. And we check this checkbox which says use path as a working directory. Click next and this is the YAML spec that it has generated. 
uh, we would be doing a couple of modifications in this for using the variables that we discussed earlier. So for now, let's just click on create. What this will do is it will create the test workflow based on the details that we have provided in the UI. Once it is created, let us navigate to the test workflow and then click on the settings tab. Here we will go to the variables and secrets tab and we will create two variables here. One is ID and we'll provide a number here. So the API endpoint that we are hitting actually takes numbers from one to 12. So you can provide any number over here. And the other one is the URL. In this case, it is the base URL for our API endpoint. So it is api.restful-api.dev and we click on save. With this, we have created two variables, ID and URL, and have provided the values. Now we need to modify the YAML spec file to be able to use these variables. So click on definition and you see the YAML file is here. So you see it has added the variables that we have created. Now let us go ahead and change the configuration of the run command. Now in this case, we have to pass the name of the postman collection as well along with the variables that we have created. So in this case, it would look something like this. So we are using new and run and then we are providing the name of the collection, which is the same that we have provided here. And then we are providing the couple of variables that we have created. So we have ID and we have URL. So with this, we have modified the YAML spec and then we click on save. So at this point, our test workflow is ready and we can go back to execute this. So click on executions and then click on the run now button. So you can see the execution has started. I click on it, so it's initializing, then it is cloning the repo and then it is executing the test. So if you see here, it has completed the execution successfully. All tests have passed. Now this is the URL that we gave and this is the ID that we have provided and all the tests have passed. Now, since we are using variables, we can change the variables and see how the test actually responds. So I'm changing the variable to five. I come back here and I click run now to execute the workflow again. Now this time, if you observe closely, it will execute the workflow with the new variable that we have provided. So if you see here, the ID is five, the ID is five and the test has failed because there was some assertion which failed because of the ID that we have provided. So that's how you create a test workflow using Postman collection by creating variables in TestCube.